Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode. Thanks for joining us. If you're part of the pack, obviously welcome back. When you strike that, it sends us. We kick this trip off with a bit of range practice. Yeah, okay. Nice and comfy. Jake's just here sighting in his 308. This trip's been in preparation for a fair while, so we're all busting to get out. Um, so we got a few shots in each, um, made sure everything was good to go, and then we headed out. Once we arrived, we thought we'd try our luck getting some pigs first, so we've just kitted up Scooby, got some body armor on, obviously, for a bit of protection. Um, we'll be using the quad bikes in a side by side getting around, which is really fun. It was just coming on dusk, so the sun was just going down. It was really good to get back outdoors, give Scoob a bit of a run again. It's been a while for her as well, so um, yeah, it's just a really good way to start it off. Unfortunately, we didn't really come across anything this first sort of outing, um, but we've got some awesome views as you can see and really got a feel for the place. As it did get dark, um, realised the headlights on the buggy weren't working, so it made it pretty difficult getting around. We sort of paid the price in the end. We come across probably one of the biggest logs I've ever been stuck on. Um, it just kept going into the dark. It was hilarious. But we eventually sorted that out for a little while and called it a night. And the morning we had was fantastic. Beautiful temperature, awesome views. We're all just so stoked to be there. We sort of expected that we'd probably be trekking around for a little while before we'd see anything, but we actually got really lucky within about the first hour, come across a mob of goats that were probably about 400 meters away. From there, it was just making our way a bit closer and um, reassessing once we moved in to see where we could go and, and find a good place to take a shot. Once we were about 200 metres away, we decided to de-kit most of the stuff we were carrying just to make it a bit easier for us to traverse around and um, limit our chance of scaring them off by getting snagged on a tree or anything like that. Um, Jake was the trigger man on this trip, so he had the 308, um, and I pretty much just had me binos and uh, a rangefinder. We just kept sneaking in from there. If you look closely, you should be able to see there's a couple nanny goats walking behind the trees just nearby. They're not really that far away, probably only like 40 metres away. Um, but obviously, we're after a billy. Um, and we did see a couple, but we weren't quite sure at this point uh, how big they were and where they were moving to. So we sort of sat down for a little while to see see what they do. And from there, we determined that the wind was actually not in our favour and we'd have to walk down the hill a bit, which would put us down at the bottom of the mountain. And then we'd do sort of a horseshoe shape and come right around and come up, uh, which meant that our scent was obviously getting blown away and we could sneak in right close. We ended up getting pretty lucky because once we got around to the lower side of the ridge, we ended up coming across a gully which pretty much led straight towards where we wanted to go. It's obviously just, it was just a low point where the rain would come down and it just cut, cut sort of a valley through the side of the, side of the hill. Um, and by using that, we snuck straight up to where we wanted to go. At the top of the ridge, we were able to sort of emerge from that cover in the valley there um, and yeah, we had some long grass as you can see, which we just crawled straight through. It ended up being a really good spot. Like we just had perfect cover everywhere we went. And it was actually so good that when we crawled up, you can't see it on camera. There was actually a big black pig and it was camped up right, right there. And as we snuck up, it jumped up and ran off. It ended up running sort of up the hill and uh, out of the way, but, um, at first, we thought it must have been the goats getting spooked, but yeah, it ended up being a pig. We ended up sitting here for probably five to 10 minutes, 
um, just sort of waiting because we didn't have a shot on anything that we necessarily wanted to go for. And the billies are sort of up in that um, bushy tree area, which you can see up to the right. Um, down to the left, there's obviously the rest of the mob of goats, but a lot of those guys were either young males or um, the old nannies. After a little while here, the two big males ended up coming out and they sort of exposed themselves on the top of the ridge in front of us. Jake's just in the prone position there. He ends up taking a shot from here. And that presents a second follow-up shot um, for a second animal. We were all so stoked at this point. Honestly, although it was a couple hours work, um, we did go a fair distance, but at the end of the day, we really didn't work too hard to get to here. Two good shots, two clean kills. Um, they both went down in seconds. Um, and from here, it was just time to dress and, and get out of there. eventually made it back to the ute, packed everything up and headed back to camp. Obviously we needed to keep everything nice and cool so we chucked the meat in the hide straight into an esky and we needed to cool off too so we headed to a nearby waterhole, jumped in, went for a swim and capped off one of the best trips we've ever done. An absolute blast. Ooh.